So this is something that we're seeing a lot more of, and that's violent threats against schools. FBI data shows those threats increased by 60 percent between 2021 and 2022. So what happens when a student makes a threat? Case that investigates Dylan Collier explains the real life consequences that follow. <laughs> I think that the situation got way out of hand. Shelly Quinn's 12 year old son has Asperger's syndrome, attention deficit hyperactivity disorder, and according to school records reviewed by KSAT investigates, has been a target of bullies for much of his academic life. He had been enrolled at the School of Science and Technology Hill Country less than a week when in late March, Quinn got a call from the vice principal. Telling us that we needed to come get our son, that um, he had stated that he had a gun in his locker. By the time San Antonio police showed up, the allegations had morphed dramatically, including claims that days earlier, the child referenced the Nashville school shooting, which occurred the same week, that he also had knives, bullets, and magazines, said he was the son of Satan, and had attempted to recruit classmates to help him kill other students. Days later, Quinn says deputy U.S. Marshals in Medina County Sheriff's deputies arrived at her property before sunrise with a felony warrant for her son's arrest. Full on gear, um, bulletproof vest, rifles, flashlights. They wanted to go barge down into his room and wake him up and I, I begged them to let me go do it. While many San Antonio sixth graders were wrapping up their final week of school, the child was in Bear County Juvenile Court for a mandatory appearance. His trial for making a terroristic threat tentatively scheduled for late next month. Quinn says the ordeal, although caused by her son, has made him terrified for his future. What is your response then to people who are going to see this and say, well, he threatened classmates, no matter what kind of threat it was, uh, he gets what's coming to him. My husband and I are very understanding in the situation. We know the severity of what happened. We don't condone it. We understand it. We're compassionate towards it. The Bear County District Attorney's Office declined to comment on the criminal case because the boy is a minor. A spokeswoman for the School of Science and Technology Hill Country confirmed that Quinn withdrew her son before he could be formally expelled, but that he is not welcome back on campus. For KSAT Investigates, I'm Dylan Collier. Keep up to date with all of San Antonio's top news, weather, and so much more by clicking the like and subscribe buttons below. And once again, thanks for watching KSAT.